Look at your national coast to coast forecast here on this uh, Thursday, August 11th, includes some severe weather concerns across the northern tier of the nation over the next couple of days at least. We're also looking at some heavy rain and flood concerns, which may take us into this upcoming weekend as uh, some very heavy rainfall is concentrated along specific boundaries that may be stalling out and then cooler as we head into next week, especially over the southern U.S. All right, here's today's severe weather concern. We have a slight risk for Nebraska into Iowa and also into southern Minnesota. Marginal risk, though, stretching from Wyoming and Colorado all the way up into Wisconsin. Large hail and damaging winds looks to be the primary concern as some additional thunderstorms develop later today. By tomorrow, we have a threat across the northern Ohio Valley and the eastern Great Lakes and then also across the front range of the Rockies. And then Saturday is looking pretty quiet with general thunderstorms here and there across the nation. But there's your heaviest concentration of rain for this uh, Thursday into Thursday evening and Friday and also down across the lower Mississippi Valley. This is uh, our best chance of any severe weather. Again, some damaging winds possible later today. That front continues to slide east ever so slowly. And again, along that boundary into this upcoming weekend may concentrate some very heavy rain as some of this moisture from the tropics gets sucked to the north a little bit. So again, kind of adding two uh, areas of moisture. But there's your heavy rain in the central U.S. through Tuesday morning uh, from St. St. Louis all the way down to New Orleans could see some two to four plus inch tallies, maybe some isolated higher tallies also across Texas. But the monsoon moisture kind of fading a bit since uh, earlier this week and then also noticing some heavier tallies through the Ohio Valley and to parts of the northeast. All right, six to ten day temperature outlook shows it will be warmer than average across uh, the outer tier of the nation, but then cooler than average as you get into the central and southern plains. Again, that's next week. But for now, we have warmer than average readings in the central and eastern part of the country with temperatures running about. 5 to near 10 degrees above average. A little cooler across the Intermountain West, but 95 in St. Louis, Dallas up to 102.